As a director, you're literally the leader of the set. You get blank canvases of sets, and then you see them transform into something magical. Every day is different. Some days are easier than others. Some days I would just fly. If anyone knew what went into a 44-minute episode of television, you'd be amazed. Super beautiful. The music room. So whatever, if Mary Lou will gaze over there. Here we are. I'm going to attempt to do a scene in the wintertime on a beach with Stefan and Valerie. I'll do my best not to ruin it. But it's Paul Wesley in a t-shirt on a beach. What could go wrong, you know? Valerie can do the spell. He gave me pills. Why did you release Raina Cruz? Give me the scar now! This episode was very, very different than the last one, and ultimately, it had to set up a lot for what was gonna happen from 16 until 22. We're now three years in the future, and we're not going back. Nora, don't! You must live. There is no life without you. Everybody quiet and action. Because it's such a slow push in. The way I've worked as an actor, I work ultimately as a director, where I'll literally go down and break down okay, every character good. as well as every scene. Before I ever sat in the chair to say action once, I had about 150 hours in just into the story and the characters. She said, I prefer the direct approach. It's an extraordinary amount of preparation. I'm sure you're tired of seeing the same thing yeah. over and over again. When I look at actors that direct or directors that act, either way you shape it, you look at guys like the Clint Eastwoods of the world, you go back and watch any of those films and you think, wow, how did these guys do it? Liz, will you take your look over here to him? Or like you were going out. Now back to Paul. Coming to the actors as an actor, you're sort of at an advantage because you're one of them. Paul and I can look at each other and say one word to each other and know exactly what we mean. All right, have fun, brother. The shorthand, it works well. We are looking for ways to get rid of a mystical scar. That's right. It links me to a crazy woman. They did such a great job of this set. All I want to do is put my feet up and crack a beer. <laughs> the odd thing is, is that we're now shooting this really beautiful, super warm beach scenario, and now there's a winter Goliath storm coming in about to dump snow on us. So. So today we're shooting a scene. We're starting off in the Mystic Falls High School hallway. We are doing a scene with Bonnie and Enzo. That's the start of our day, which is at 3 p.m. We are then moving to the exterior woods, which is located here uh, at our stages. When Bonnie wakes up, she's going to be Reyna 2.0. I don't want to hurt you. If waking up means killing us, she'd rather just slip away. Monster. Sure am. Sorry, Bonnie. Bonnie. Had to get you to wake up somehow. I need to kill Damon first. I'm in. I'd say it's a very Bonnie-heavy episode. She is fighting uh, this inner urge inside of her to become a huntress and basically kill all of her friends. Ah! All right, cut. All right, great. I've always wanted to be a director. When I watched movies, directing was the thing that I noticed as opposed to acting. I did a pilot. I remember just telling the producer, you know, if this show gets picked up, promise me season three. If you thought that was a hint, you were not paying attention. So it had always been on my mind that if I got a show on air for long enough, I would direct. Don't you think it would be kind of interesting to have a two-shot for her having this conversation with Stefan sort of um, out of focus in the background? Yeah, we get that. I think we should get that. Let's just roll right now. Though. As a director, I've learned to not watch my own performance in close-up. I just ask my DP or people in the dit tent, whomever, the camera operators, I ask the writer if they think it was tonally there, and they say, yeah, and I don't really need to watch it. Well, I never said I didn't have an idea. I was the first actor to direct, and I just wanted to sort of break the ice to make sure that they knew it was going to be a team thing. Then you go, go! Right. You know, I wrote all the actors a letter. I just said, hey guys, you know, I really, you know, want you to know that I need you. Thank you for bringing your A game. 
But now I think they're more comfortable with me directing and I'm more comfortable. So the, as long as we see the oh, music yeah. room, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Time is precious on any show, but you can plan. But we also do improv and wing things in the sense that we put up a camera and we see how it looks. And if it looks great, we go with it, you know? And, and, and I think uh, at the end of the day, if you aren't open to something new and magical happening, then you are kind of limiting yourself. And action! <laughs> There are so many facets of this business that allow you to really exercise different muscles. You run into a lot of roadblocks if you can't be appreciative of every single component on a set. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Mike, I like that hinge. Maybe go to him at the end, OK? Thank you, guys. It's pretty incredible. I try to have it all. <laughs> Next time, it'll be different. What I would say, and I say this from experience, focus on your project. Really create a positive environment where everyone who is really good at their job feels that they can do it. B Mark. If you're gonna do it, do it to the best of your ability. I mean, dive in. I think make people feel comfortable, particularly actors, make them feel good, tell them that they're great. So that you've prepared so much that at least you're confident when you walk on the set. And that way you get the best out of people. Keep it fun. What made this show this show was not effects. It was just putting cameras in front of actors and letting them do their jobs. And it was a really great experience. I'm always grateful that they allow me to do this. It's nice to, to, to feel like you've achieved a dream that you always wanted. I feel like I've won the respect of, of people that, that, I, uh, that I personally respect as well. If I can continue to do this, um, I'll be an extremely happy man. Well, that is it, guys. That is a wrap on the day. That's a wrap for today. I hope you guys enjoyed a little slice of our world. I really uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't make a complete idiot out of myself. Thank you.